In today's video, I'm going to be talking about credit score, which is vital to your success in Canada. Your credit score can impact where you live and where you work in Canada, so it's very important. Thanks to Mogo for sponsoring this video. I'll give more details about it later in the video. What's up everyone? I am Toby and I provide the tools and resources for moving to Canada, life in Canada and achieving the Canadian dream. So if you want all of that good content, make sure you subscribe to this channel smash the like button so i know that you're enjoying the video also share the video so i know that you're enjoying the content and i really appreciate it canada is a credit driven society most immigrants aren't used to the system so let's talk about this i've spoken about how important your credit score is in canada in some of my videos and i've had comments about it as a lot of people don't really know what a credit score is so we're going to be talking about that today i'm going to be breaking things down for you and also share some tips make sure you watch this if you plan on moving to canada if you're already in canada or if you're in another country that uses the credit system it's a bit similar so what exactly is a credit score a credit score is a three digits number in canada it ranges from 300 to 900 which is from poor to excellent your credit score is a number associated with you it is an overall analysis on your credit worthiness for banks and lenders and this is based on the credit bureaus in canada we have equifax and we have transunion your credit score will determine if you get approved or denied for things like purchasing a home getting a loan cars mobile plans and some other important things it can also determine if a landlord will prefer someone else over you and it can also affect your chances of getting hired as some employers actually do credit checks having a good credit score will save you money as financial institutions can give you interest rates based on your credit score also if you're going to get something big like a down payment or of the home or something like that if you have a good credit score you can pay less but if you have a bad credit score sometimes like they see you as a high risk lender and they're like okay yeah you need to pay more so having a good credit score is actually going to save you a lot of money from down payments to interest rates that is going to save you a lot of money generally it shows your financial health and it's also important in your social life about 42 percent of adults say knowing someone's credit score would determine if they would date the person that kind of shows how important your credit score is it affects a lot of things most newcomers either run into debt or avoid credit which later harms them i actually know someone that had money for down payment for a house but he had no credit history and all of that so he couldn't qualify for a mortgage because of no credit history having no borrowing history is not good because there's nothing to show how you handle credits how you are with your debts there's nothing to show how responsible you are when you borrow money so avoid having no credit history you just have to know how to use it well understand it and be disciplined if you're gaining value from this content please don't forget to smash the like button for me subscribe and share this video so what exactly makes up your credit score your credit score is calculated based on a number of different factors. The first one being your credit history. So this takes up 35% of your credit score. It's basically how responsible have you been in the past? Do you pay your bills? Do you pay your bills on time? Do you make late payments? The next factor is credit utilization. This takes 30% of your credit score. So how much are you using from your credit limit? The rule of thumb is try not to spend more than 30% of your total available credit limit. For example, if you have a thousand dollar credit card, try to spend nothing less than $300 basically. The next factor is credit length. This takes up 15% of your credit score. So how long have you had credit for? Are you in good standing? The longer you have credit and in good standing, the better it is for your credit score. So please try not to close your first credit card. A lot of people make this mistake and they close their first credit card. If you're a newcomer in Canada, as soon as you get here, please try to open a credit account. It whatever type of credit it is try to get one i would advise to get a builder credit card these are cards that have like a 200 dollar limit 500 dollar limit so you get used to it and so you can build your credit history and just note that builder credit cards have higher interests so pay your bills on time and understand the credit system because banks and lenders like seeing a history of 
credit and the history of you paying your bills making payments to know that you're trustworthy and to know how you handle money if there's no history what can they really tell from it the next factor is new inquiries this takes up 10 percent of your total credit score so are you trying to get more loans getting additional credits would affect your credit score they're going to do a hard inquiry on it hard inquiries affect your credit score and they have to do that to approve you for that additional credit so it is going to affect your credit score i know a lot of people that they open credit cards just because they are going to get like a 20 percent discount especially with store credit cards they tell you to open a new credit card and get 20 percent off your purchase 30 percent off your purchase and a lot of people fall for that so that is going to actually affect your credit score so only open credit cards or get additional credits when you really need to the last category is diversity so this takes up 10 percent of your total credit score so having different credit products improves your credit score the rule of thumb is to aim for two but i would advise to only do this if you are very disciplined with credits if you know how to handle it well then you can get more credits or have to aim for two banks and lenders like seeing a good mix of debts basically <laughs> they like seeing a good mix of debts they like seeing credit cards loans line of credit mortgage different types of debts there because they want to see they're able to manage different debts so let's talk about checking your credit score because you need to know this thing that's so important very very important how do you check your credit score as i said hard inquiries affect your credit score but soft inquiries don't affect your credit score. I use Mogo to check my Equifax credit score for free. And luckily for us, Mogo is a sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Mogo for sponsoring this video. Mogo is a Canadian fintech company that offers a variety of features, providing solutions that improve our financial health, which is very important. With Mogo, I'm able to check my Equifax credit score for free without hurting my credit score. And I like it because it has actually helped me improve Improve my credit score i have a gold credit score each year and this year 2020 i have hit my target goal but checking my credit score has actually allowed me track my progress monthly as it is always updated monthly on mogo so i see what my credit score is each month and i'm able to monitor my credit score to see if there's any unexpected drop in my credit score Mogo cares about its members and our financial health. So when you hit the rockstar point, you're actually going to earn dollars. I mean, who doesn't love being rewarded? I like that it provides tips to improve your credit score and stay on top of your financial health. I also like that it breaks down the credit score categories. So the factors that affect your credit score and it breaks it down in simple terms. I mean, not all of us are financial gurus. So I love that on the app, I can see what affects my credit score. I can understand each factor and what they look at. Mogul also offers free unlimited identity fraud protection with Mogul Protect. This has saved me as much as $240 per year compared to similar services. So if a fraudster is trying to get credits in my name, using my personal information mogo is actually going to notify me immediately on the app and i can act to resolve this issue so it doesn't hurt me or hurt my credit score in the future this is very critical as 75 percent of canadians were affected by data breaches in one year according to the office of the privacy commissioner of canada mogo also offers mogo spend with this you get a visa prepaid card which helps you save and control your finances while offsetting CO2. So this actually helps our planet against climate change. And guess what? It's free. I love cards that have no monthly fees. Like I like saving my money. Who doesn't? There's also Mogo Crypto, which is the easiest way to buy Bitcoin in Canada. You can try it out now and get $5 in Bitcoin for free. You can also get a mortgage and get loans with Mogo. Mogo has helped my financial health and knowledge in various ways. It has put me ahead and I have been getting the best interest rates because of my credit score. So Mogo and I have partnered to come up with a link for you to try Mogo out. 
I'll put that in my description box and I'll also put it in the comment section. You can sign up today with the link in the description box or comment section and join 1 million plus Canadians and I as we improve our financial health. It takes less than three minutes to sign up and you have to reside in Canada and be above 19 to sign up. If you're enjoying this content, please smash the like button for me. So let me give you the tips and tricks to build and improve your credit score. The first commandment is don't miss a bill and don't make late payments. You should always pay your bills and always pay it on time. Pay it in full and pay it on time. Missing a $5 payment is as bad as missing like a hundred dollar payment honestly the second commandment is always try to pay the minimum payments like actually please pay in full like always pay in full but if you really do not have the money at the moment just pay the minimum payments and you can pay the rest later on when you have the money but always pay the minimum payments the third is to keep your credit utilization low so let's say you have a twenty thousand dollar credit card just assume you have a five thousand dollar credit card don't think of the remaining fifteen thousand it is not yours the five thousand is also not yours but just imagine you have five thousand dollars the next is to monitor your credit monthly you can monitor it with the mogul app always monitor your credit to ensure there's no mistake because this happens a lot sometimes there's some debt that people are unaware of and some other things my last tip is to avoid closing your first credit card if you can just try not to close it remember that your credit score doesn't define you but you should strive to make it better use credits responsibly and be disciplined please don't forget to smash the like button leave comments and share this video let me know if you now understand what a credit score is or what you learned about credit score let me know all of that in the comment section and subscribe for more valuable content about moving to canada and living in canada bye